We have no independent racial agenda. We have no independent racial agenda and we don't want one. You know what our racial agenda is? Go vote for the white Democrats. That is the racial agenda for the Negro Pens. That is the racial agenda for the Congressional Black Caucus. That is the racial agenda for the NAACP. That is the racial agenda for the Urban League. That is the racial agenda of the black church. We have no racial agenda. All we got is vote in the next election. That's the only agenda we got. Vote and go to church. How has that saved us? Vote and go to church. How has that saved us since Dr. King's assassination? Somebody tell me how. What kind of a plan is that? Go vote for white people and go pray to hustlers in the pulpit. How has that worked out? We have no economic loyalty to ourselves. We have zero economic loyalty to ourselves. Black people have no economic loyalty. Why do black businesses have to break their neck to get a dollar from a black person? The only black businesses that don't have to break their neck to get a dollar from black folks is the hair salons and the soul food restaurants. If you got a hair salon and a soul food restaurant, you okay. Any other black business got to break their neck to get a dollar from black folks because you have no economic loyalty. When the last time you seen a Mexican in a black store? When the last time you seen an Arab in a black store? When the last time you seen a European Jew in a black store? When the last time you seen an East Indian or Native American in a black store? Nobody spends with us, especially us. Nobody spends with us, especially us. Nobody spends with us, especially us. We have no interests. You want to know why we don't have a black Wall Street? We have no interest whatsoever. You want to know why we don't have a black Wall Street? We have no interest at all in an exclusively black community. If I'm lying, say it. If I am lying, will somebody please shame the devil? Is Dr. Umar lying when I say that most of our people have no interest in an exclusively black community? Everybody celebrating Black Wall Street, most of us are a bunch of hypocrites. Everybody celebrating Black Wall Street, most of us are a bunch of hypocrites. Everybody celebrating Black Wall Street, most of us are a bunch of hypocrites. There's no way in hell you're going to celebrate Black Wall Street, but you live in a white suburb. You live amongst white folks. You bank amongst white folks. You shop amongst white folks. You vote in a white political party. You send your kids to a white private school and you want to tell me you believe in black power. Use a damn hypocrite. Use a damn hypocrite. Use a damn hypocrite. Black people do not want a black community. You don't unless it got white people in it. First of all, half y'all married outside the race anyway. Half of y'all married outside the race anyway. Half of y'all married outside the race anyway. So you can't be part of no exclusively black community anyway. Let, let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a thousand. Most of you are snow bunnied. Most of you Negroes have already been snow bunnied, male and female. You can't be part of an exclusively black community. But for those of you who have not been snow bunnied, for those of you who have not been snow bunnied, for those of you who have not been snow bunnied, you don't want to be part of no exclusively black community. You don't want to wake up and everybody in the hospital black, everybody in the supermarket black, everybody in the bank black, everybody in the school black, all the pictures are black. The dogs are black, the cats are black, the fish are black, the snakes are black. How many of you love black people that much? That you are willing to spend your life, the remainder of your time on earth, in an exclusively black community. 
Chinese do it. European Jews do it. Arabs do it. East Indians, Latinos. We are the only people who don't have a single independent black community in this country. Not one of you. 50 million Africans, 50 states, 50 million Africans in America, 50 states, not a single black Wall Street. You know why? Because you hate yourself. Know why? You love white folks. I read an autobiography from, an ex, from a Black Panther who was a real Black Panther from the Panthers of the 60s. I forget his name, but he was uh, the marshal of the Black Panther Party. I'm forgetting his name. He was in Oakland with Bobby and Huey. Anybody remember his name? Light-skinned, fair-skinned brother. He lived out the rest of his days in France. I forget his name. You know what this brother told me? I read his autobiography last week. Because you have to read, you have to study. Don't be an intellectual masturbator, but you have to be knowledgeable. This brother said in the book, and I'm paraphrasing, this marshal for the black, the original Black Panther Party now. He was in the wars with the party. He had to go into exile. He said that for all the revolutionary integration we talked about uniting with other revolutionary anti-capitalist groups he said the only integrating i really saw was between the sheets i'm gonna repeat it because i don't think y'all heard me i just bought the book last week and i read the book last week he said for all the revolutionary collaborations we talked about all the revolutionary cooperations we talked about with the radical white and brown Socialist groups. He said, quote, most of the integrating I saw was between Cox. There you go. Cox. What's his name? Daniel Cox. I hope a white man didn't give me that answer, did he? But anyway, that was him. Donald Cox. Read Donald Cox's autobiography. Donald Cox. Read it. Very good autobiography. I learned a lot about the struggle in that. But he basically said that the revolutionary brothers was more interested in them white cookies than white revolutionary cooperation. Same thing with the Pan-African socialists. Pan-African socialists ain't no different. They love white women too. Yep, I said it. I said it. Pan-African socialists love white girls too. Maybe not all of you, but let's be honest. A lot of Pan-African socialists Sleep with white girls. And that's why y'all don't like me because I'm pan-African nationalist and you like white girls and that's why you want to talk that socialism, communism, because you want an excuse to sleep with the white girl. So, 